My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Hello, this is episode number 43 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at further questions under inequality. Look at the first question we have before us from the Flash Learners Jam application. You see the power of variables. S squared, you have 4s, you have a constant. This is definitely a quadratic inequality. And the standard form of quadratic inequality or quadratic equation or a quadratic polynomial is a s squared plus b s plus c is equals zero. But here is inequality. Let's begin by inverting or rearranging. We have here and we have here. If 21 is lesser than s squared minus 4s, it implies that s squared minus 4s is greater than 21, since 21 is lesser than it. From here, we can say that s squared minus 4s minus 21 is greater than or equals 0. We've arranged it in standard form. 1s squared, a s squared, 4s, b s, 21 c, which is constant. Factorizing inequalities, we look for two numbers that when we add, we should be able to get minus 4. And when we multiply, we'll be able to get 1 times 20, minus 21. We should be able to get minus 21. These numbers are not far-fetched. They are simply minus 7 and 3. Minus 7 and 3. If you add minus 7 and plus 3, you definitely get minus 4. If you multiply minus 7 and plus 3, you definitely get minus 1. So, they qualify. You do something like this. S minus 7 is greater than 0. Or, S plus 3 is greater than 0. When it comes to inequality or quadratic inequality, this is what happens. Or a basic rule. Any side that gives you a negative number, invert the sign. And any part that gives you a positive number, the sign remains exactly the way it is supposed to be. So it is a generalization from all the questions I've seen in jam. This rule works. So take it that way. Here would therefore be S is greater than 7. That is positive answer. Here is S lesser than minus 3. Minus 3 is a negative answer, so the sign will therefore invert. So that is it. The answers are in combined form. How do we combine this inequality? To combine inequality, this is what you do. You look for the one with the smaller answer. Minus 7 is bigger than minus 3. So minus 3 is the smaller answer. Invert the one with the smaller answer. How do you do that? If s is lesser than minus 3, it means that minus 3 is greater than s. Correct, right? So, we combine these two to have minus 3 is greater than s. And even s itself is also greater than 7. So, s is lesser than minus 3 and s is greater than 7. That is simply the range of the inequalities. Anytime you are given questions like this, what range of values is 3s squared plus 7s plus 2 negative. When you have something like this, for the values to be negative, it simply means lesser than. You simply say 3s squared plus 7s plus 2 is lesser than 0. If we are told what values of this guy is positive, for them to be positive, you simply use greater than. Take note of that. Now, let's see the next 
question. The absolute value of 2x plus 5 is lesser than minus 3. Anytime you are given something like this, absolute value, this is what it means. This is how to interpret it. It means 2x plus 5 is lesser than minus 3. Or, or minus 2s plus 5 is lesser than minus 3. So you look for the positive form of this or the negative form of this. Don't do something like this. If you say minus 2s plus 5, this minus will only be affecting 2s. The minus will affect everything. So you put everything here in bracket. And later, we use the minus to open up the bracket. From here, 2s plus 5 is lesser than minus 3. Or minus 2s minus times plus 5 minus 5 is lesser than minus 3. This will give us 2s is lesser than minus 3 minus 5. Or minus 2s is lesser than minus 3 plus 5. 2s is lesser than minus 8. Or minus 2s is lesser than 2. Divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So s becomes lesser than minus 8 over 2. Or here, yeah, we divide both sides by minus 2. Minus 2 divided by minus 2 is 1. So s is since we are dividing both sides by a negative number, this sign will change. Instead of lesser than, it becomes greater than. Minus 2 divided by 2 divided by minus 2, here will give you minus 1. So here becomes s is lesser than minus 4, or s is greater than minus 1. The answer is in the combined form. I have taught you how to combine inequalities so many times. You look for the smaller one minus 4 and minus 1 which one is smaller minus 4 is smaller anytime you have negative numbers the bigger negative is smaller than smaller negative so we start with the smaller one here you invert it you say if s is lesser than minus 4 therefore minus 4 is greater than s like this then you add it to the other one to have minus 4 is greater than s and s is greater than minus 1. So, option C is the correct option. This expression you are seeing, this dot dot s dot dot absolute number, absolute value of s minus 2, then lesser than 3. Anytime you see something like this, s dot dot, unlike here, I've taught you how to solve something like this. But this time around, we are seeing s dot dot before the inequalities. In this case, we we'll look for the negative form of the constant. This is what I'm saying. Once you see s dot dot something like this, this is your answer. This is your constant. Look for the negative form. This one is positive. Take it to minus 3. If it's a negative, you make it positive. So invert this one and say lesser than s minus 2 lesser than 3. So this is exactly this. And I told you when you have this type of inequalities, from the beginning, draw to the beginning of the second symbol. Then from the end, draw to the beginning of the first symbol. To give you minus 3 is lesser than s minus 2, which is this. And the other part, s minus 2 is lesser than 3. So these are your two inequalities that you need to solve. Solving that, you should have minus 1 is lesser than s, and s is lesser than 5. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for inequalities. Get your flash NASDAQ app right now. On using the YouTube description, you see the direct link to install the app, or you visit flashlearners.com for various versions, or search Flash Learners Jam app on your Play Store. You will see the application. Please make sure the one you are installing is written Flash Learners. Don't install any other app because some persons install other apps, get scammed at the end. They call me. Since you have my number in the first place, WhatsApp number uh, and other things, why not contact me first before making the mistake? Or after being scammed by another number, you are not reaching my number. So we should be very, very smart and careful. When it comes to jam, a lot of scammers.
who, who promised to send you an answer, add you to a random group and the rest. There is no expo in Jan. If you rely on anybody or anyone promises to send you an answer, you are directly on your way to failure. Trust me, you won't believe now until you fail Jam. Then by next year, you'll be very, very serious. Those who are actually serious are those writing Jam second, third, fourth time. People writing Jam for the first time, they don't hear anything. Like, get the Flash in that Jam app now, install. Do your assignment. Follow this. Hmm. Don't worry. Huh? Somebody is impressing you somewhere. It's normal. By the time you fail, next year, you'll be so, so humble and loyal. That is fast, not a threat. See you in the next episode where we shall be introducing um, AP and GP.